Hello, and welcome to another episode of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. I'm back at the house where I found the 1918 Walker that I didn't hit. And the, the lady whose house it is asked me to look up and down this strip for a set of keys. She actually had been hoping she could figure out how to get in touch with me. So I'm going to try to look for these keys. And I'm going to look around the yard some more, see what I missed the last time, the last two times I was here. See at the first good target, hopefully we find the keys. Now I'm in the backyard, and considering that everything else I found was in the front yard, I really find this hard to believe, and it could just be a coincidence, but look at that. That is a 45 caliber jacketed slug that's been fired, which makes seven that I've found in this yard, which is a full magazine. That is amazing. Not finding much else, stuff, uh, chips of, and clips of aluminum siding and junk, but, uh, that's the whole magazine I found. I found them all. Wow. Next target. Here's a wheat scent in the front yard. And that's an area that I have hunted already, so I must have missed this guy. Okay, see what else I missed. Wheat scent number two. It's about uh, 10 feet from wheat scent number one. Guess I was pretty sloppy last time. Weed scent number three. Guess it's not good to be the weedy king in a yard you've already detected. Makes you look like a noob. See how much more I missed. Just flipped this out. Just a couple feet from that weed scent. And from the looks of it, this was a nickel signal, but a couple ticks higher. And if you look at it, you can see why it might be higher. Because it might be a war nickel. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Look at that, how shiny that is. And there's the P. Philadelphia, 45. Boy, that's in beautiful condition. Well, we got us some shiny today. Outstanding. 1945 Philadelphia War Nickel. Take that. Next target. Got another nickel signal. You can see the imprint right there. And there it is. It's not silver, I don't think, but let's see if it's a buffalo. I haven't seen a buffalo nickel in a long time. Nope. It's a Tommy. Probably an old Tommy, but Tommy all the same. All right, next target. If you look at Tommy very carefully, 1959. That nickel is the same age as me. Pretty cool. There's wheat scent number four. I found a couple memorials and another nickel. So, it's still going. Well, let's do a, another grindstone wrap up. Start with the junk. A couple what's it's. This is lead. I'm not sure what this is. Got a reflector, a tube, a comb. Lots of screws in this yard every time I've been here. And something. And we've got a 55 Jefferson. Two memorials. Five wheat pennies. 
the 1959, same year as I was born, Jeffersonian. We have the shiny for today, 1945 P. War Nickel. I'll clean that up with some baking soda when I get home. I'll show you a picture of that. And the amazing final round from a full magazine of 45 caliber jacketed bullets. Found that one in the back. Found five in the front yard, one across the street, and one in the backyard. That's a full magazine. Pretty cool. So, thank you for joining me. It's been fun, hot and sweaty. Please come back next time when we once again go looking for what's under the grass or in the creek for artifacts.